Angela's here to take the sting out of cleaning. Yep, Stingray Parts Washers. We're here to help you get the right parts washer for your needs. You know what? Ever hear that song Rocket Man by Elton John? Yeah, you know it. I'm a rocket man burning out his fuse up here all alone. Well, you know what? You're not going to be alone with Stingray because we're here to learn about your scope of work. Yeah, if you talk to me, I'm going to ask you questions about your parts cleaning beyond just the size of the parts, the weight of the parts, but I'm going to want to know your water quality. I'm going to want to know about how many parts you need to clean per eight hours. And particularly, I'm gonna to wanna to know what soils you wanna remove. There's a big difference between machining oil, right? And trying to strip paint. So there's a concept called power density. And we use that when we configure a parts washer because there is not one type of washer for everybody. There's not a brochure you could look through and say, yeah, that's the one, because every cleaning situation is unique. Now, let's go back to the formula. Yes, there's even a formula for power density. So let me give you an example. Say you were a kid and you had a mini bike. Yeah, one of those little 80cc mini bikes and you drove it around all around town and you really thought you were hot. And then you graduated to a monster truck. But you remember back in time that, oh, I really like that mini bike. So you took that engine off and you put it in your monster truck. <laughs> yeah, out of that do, right? <laughs> yeah, you probably couldn't even get out of the garage. No, because that 80cc is made for a mini bike, not for a large monster truck. That's the same concept of power density. Yep, it is the horsepower per work volume. So we ask a lot of questions because there's four factors to cleaning. One we're talking about right now, power. The second one, detergent. Another one, time. And then another one, heat. And yep, there's going to be videos on all four of these different factors of cleaning. But in order to get the right parts washer, we need to know a lot about what you're doing because removing burnt on hydrocarbons from cylinder heads is a lot tougher than trying to get off some grease and oil from an internal transmission component. Or you want to try to strip three-part epoxy paint. Yes, all these factors come into play and in particular the concept of power density, which is, by the way, unique to Stingray parts washers. So we use these type of formulas and our engineers want to make sure that we design a parts washer that's going to give you not only dependable cleaning for decades, and yeah, I said decades, but also meet all of your cleanliness specs. Whether you have cleanliness specs now, but you're going to have them later, we're going to make sure that parts washer is designed to do it. So we don't want you to be singing Rocket Man by yourself. Hey, that may make you happy, but what makes us happy at Stingray is if you're cleaning in a Stingray parts washer. So check out the website. There's a lot of information about it. Make sure you call me. Give me a call. There's my phone number. And then I'll make sure that we learn as much as we can about your cleaning situation and have you cleaning in a Stingray parts washer. More to come. Bye.